Basically, these shoes should never be allowed. Somebody should burn them or ban them or both. Today, we're gonna dump that frump. Bye-bye. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my mission is to help you look like the best version of yourself, help you live your best life over 40. I just turned 46 and I don't know about you guys, but I just want to stay in the game, man. I don't want to enter Frump Town. I don't want to enter invisibility. I want to be seen. I'm still youthful, vibrant, sexy. I want to look the way that I feel. Everything I do on my channel, on my website, on my Instagram account is geared toward that. How can I help all of us, myself included, live our best lives over 40, look like the best version of ourselves. You know, and if you want to dig deeper, it's more than just, you know, frivolity or superficiality. We're talking about the way that you look affects the way that you feel, affects everything in your life. When you're looking good, you will feel better. You will feel great. You will have more to give everybody else. There's no need to say, oh, I don't need to worry about this kind of stuff. It doesn't mean anything. Um, it's not important. No, it really is important because the way that you feel is incredibly important. And when you look, when you look good, you feel good. In this video, I want to talk about five ways that we're all dressing frumpy over 40 that we can modify and we can change. And they're really simple tweaks and you'll see them. I'm going to show you bad, better, best. In the video I did that's very similar to this one, I talked about how to look younger. That is definitely part of it. If you dress in a more modern way, you will look younger. If you dress in a less frumpy way, you will look younger, 100%, guaranteed, okay? But in that video, I got a lot of comments from you, you guys saying I wasn't comparing apples to apples and that you wanted to see the existing outfit tweaked. Now I did strategically buy those pieces that I thought would be the frumpy pieces, so it is really hard to make them better, but I'm gonna show you how you can style them so they'll look better, but I'm really not recommending better, I'm recommending best. Frumpy piece number one, the bad bold tee. This is not good. Here it is. The floral, it looks like applique, it almost looks 3D, but it's not. It's just like printed onto the t-shirt. It's doing something cool in the sense that it's drawing the eye up, which is nice, but the print itself is so over the top, frumpy and old, it's dating you. So you don't wanna go in this zone, and I'll show you another tee coming up. It's like the bedazzled tee, it's just as bad. You really wanna look for modern t-shirts that will keep you away from Frump Town. I'm wearing a pair of just kind of stretchy beige jeans, which make it a little bit worse. And then it's really bad because of the shoes. These are the shoes in the beginning that I said really needed to go away forever, never to return. If I wanted to make Bye -bye. this look better, what I would do is I would first, for sure, swap out the shoes. So remember in the other video, I showed you these Bueno sandals that are comfort sandals. So I didn't wanna show you heels, like go from comfort shoes to heels. That's not fair, right? So I'm going from comfort shoe to comfort shoe. Both are in the comfort shoe category. These are just a heck of a lot cuter. I like these so well, by the way, I ordered them in black too. That was the first shift. The second shift is just redoing my hair a bit. So. Um, the way that you style your hair also has a major impact on whether you look frumpy or not. So just considering your hair. I think it looks really youthful when you wear your hair up in a ponytail. I think it can look youthful when you have little pieces coming down in the front. I think it can look really youthful when you have a center part versus a side part. If you have some really gentle waves, that's very youthful. If you have a shorter haircut, you know, maybe a pixie, maybe you do a lob or angled bob, that's more modern than like the mom bob. So just you just staying away from dating aging haircuts. I know a lot of us, especially as we're going through menopause, we lose hair and that stinks. It stinks really bad. So make sure you go back and watch my hair video. I did a whole video on how you can make your hair look thicker and it's everything from supplements to instant fixes. So make sure you watch that video and I will link it below. 
So the second change that I would make to make this outfit better is I would turn the t-shirt around so I'm not actually looking at that horrid floral print. It's just so bad, I can't even take it. So I'm switching it around. And I've talked about this before, this is a really simple styling trick that you can use. If you don't necessarily love the front of your shirt, try it the other way around. And then I also pulled it off the shoulder to give it a little sexy, and then took the knot and kind of twisted it so it created some more shape in the midsection. And also, you know, when, when looking at this tee from the front, like the placement of that knot is so weird. It's like right on the hip, right on the hip. Why? I don't understand that. Like the knot placement is key. Somewhere in the middle, maybe a little off center, maybe high, highlighting the waist, but right on the hip, mm -mm, no. Here's the best option. The best option would be skip that t-shirt altogether because it's really bad and go for a modern t-shirt. Here is a pastel camo tee that I got from Nordstrom. It does have a tie at the bottom, but this tie is so much smaller. It's not really drawing the eye. You could even tuck it in if you wanted to, but I wanted to show you a very similar option, but miles ahead in terms of being modern. Staying away from those bad bold tees, the old lady tees. We don't need those in our life. No more frumpy tees. And then with the last look, the best version, same sandals, same jeans, paired with this tee, they look so much more modern. But you could also always do a white jean, which would be really lovely. A pair of white shorts. I'm gonna show you some white shorts in a minute. There are other ways you can modernize it even more. I just wanted to kind of stay as close to the original look as possible. So here again, you got bad, better, best. The second way that we're looking a bit frumpy over 40 is with all of the tent tops. Beware the tent top, beware the poncho. Here it is in its full glory, this striped, kind of like ocean colored poncho. Notice the bold stripes right across, what? <gasps> Tummy and hips. <gasps> no, no, that's not good. It's just adding volume there. That's where the eye goes. It's like, meow. This outfit is made even worse by pairing it with some stretchy legging-like pants. I say this a lot with like the matchy-matchy legging pant. And then the horrible sandals. They're very comfortable, by the way, super comfortable, but BAD bad and not doing anyone any favors. And if you want to avoid frump town, definitely avoid these shoes. So to make this better, the first thing I'm going to do is swap out the shoes, 100%, get rid of those. I'm swapping them out for a pair of loafers. These are from Express, very affordable. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is get rid of those terrible legging pants and instead swap it for jeans. Now, the top is tricky because again, we have the stripes highlighting the problem area. But if I turn the top around, the pattern is actually different and it's not as in your face with the hips, button, thighs. So that's an option. You could try belting it, you could try knotting it, you know, some way to cinch that fabric, maybe tucking it in a bit. You just don't want that overall huge moo moo tent effect. Your best option would be to totally remove the tent top and you could wear a top like I'm wearing right now, which is more body skimming. It has some shape, but still very forgiving, billowy, covers the arms, beautiful neckline, beautiful color, you know, still framing the face, but it's giving you a bit more shape. You don't wanna walk around wearing a tent. Again, same pair of jeans I just showed you by Mousy Vintage. A modern pair of jeans can really work wonders for your look, especially as you get older. You know, you swap a frumpy pair of jeans for a modern pair of jeans, that completely changes your look. There you have it, bad, better, best. The third thing you should avoid if you don't want to look frumpy is ill-fitting shorts. I don't know why this happens, but especially those stores geared for women over a certain age, the shorts are cut weird. They're not flattering. They don't look good. So really be careful with the shorts. If you're gonna go for the shorts, which is already a gamble, which by the way, I did a whole shorts over 40 video. If you missed that, you may wanna go back and watch that video. This pair of shorts in particular, I don't know, it almost is like a cocoon shape. 
you know, like a half circle on the leg. And it's, it's just a very odd shape. They're linen, so they're cool and they're lightweight. They're very see-through, which I don't like either. And the length, eee, I don't know. Don't like the length either. These are the same sandals I featured in the last look that are just not good. And then this is the bedazzled tee I was telling you about in the beginning. Like this tee is horrible. No one should wear this tee ever under any circumstances. So to make it better, I'm going to cuff the shorts twice to shorten them. I'm swapping out these sandals for the Bueno sandals that I showed you before. And then I'm just gonna do a, a little French tuck or half tuck with the t-shirt. This t-shirt is the same in the back as it is in the front, so there's no salvaging it really. Remember the styling of the hair is key. Put it up, put it in a ponytail if you can, if, you if your hair's long enough. Thinking about modern hairstyles, very important as well. Thinking about modern sunglasses too. I didn't talk about that a lot in this video, but I did talk about it a lot in the last video, I featured both outfits with sunglasses. So make sure you go back and watch that one if you didn't already. Best would be to get rid of this t-shirt altogether. I'm gonna swap it out for a really pretty blouse by Free People. It's a lace blouse. It does have long sleeves. They push up really easily. And then I swapped out the shorts for a pair from Nordstrom. The shape of these shorts is totally different. They're still linen, same fabric, same color but the shape is so different and you can see it. It's more of an A-line shape. And remember in my shorts video, I talked about how if you get shorts, you want a little room around the legs to make your legs look smaller. That shape does that. And then it's the same Bueno sandals. So here's bad, better, best. The fourth offender, when it comes to looking frumpy, the crotch framing tunic. You're like, what? What did she just say? crotch framing tunic <laughs> that sounds terrible well if that's because it is it's terrible so here it is my friends the crotch framing tunic what does it frame where does the eye go right into your crotch that's exactly what i want to highlight when i dress no i do not and also that v shape where the extra fabric is on the hips makes your hips look bigger and makes you look wider it also makes your legs look shorter it's just really bad. Now I understand the concept. The concept is to create this like hourglass shape. So you're, you're highlighting a waist and you're creating a little more volume on the hip. So you create hourglass, right? It also covers the hips, butt, and thighs, which is nice. But there's another way to do that. And I'm gonna show you in the best. But let's try to make it better first. So I paired that with the same beige jeans that I showed you from the look before and those same sandals that need to go away forever. To make it better with this top, instead of tucking it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take that like weird hip asymmetrical flap hem and I'm gonna tuck it into the pockets. So it creates more of a rounded hem. So that's a really fast workaround if you have this top in your closet. You can just take those, um, those ends and tuck them into the pockets in the front. Then I, I swap out the shoes, of course. These are the same Bueno sandals. And then I added a hat. Just makes it a little bit cooler and also keeps you sun safe. Bonus. Best would be to get rid of that crotch framing tunic altogether and go for a different tunic. Like this one by Nick and Zoe. This one has a rounded hem. No weird crotch framing hemline. It also has a really cool keyhole detail at the top, which what? Draws the eye up toward the face. It's body skimming, but still forgiving around the tummy, still covers hips, butt, and thighs for the most part. It's a little bit shorter than the last one, but it's kind of nice because it gives you a little more leg, right? It doesn't really cut off your leg like that first one did. Let's take a look at this again. Bad, the bad crotch framing tunic. Better, we really tweaked the hemline of the tunic and we swapped out our shoes. Best, we swap out the tunic, go for a different tunic. And that one definitely looks the best. The fifth thing that some of us are wearing that makes us look frumpy is a super matchy matchy set. Matchy matchy. Now I know matchy matchy is having a moment and there definitely is a modern way you can do it, but you have to be really careful because if you do the sweater set, mm -mm, no, that's not gonna help you. Or if you do something like this, it's not gonna help you either. This is a set, matchy matchy set. It's a leopard print tank. 
with a kimono, duster kimono over it, also leopard print. But what makes this kimono even worse is that turquoise print at the bottom, which again calls all the attention right there. And this is traditionally, you know, like the hip, hip thigh area, not where you want to call attention. And then I paired it with the same beige jeans and the brown sandals. Not only are we doing the matching set, but we're also like picking up on the beige and wearing the beige jeans. It's just too much. It's not youthful, it's not modern, and we need to reinvent this look. So to make it better, what I would do is I would lose the kimono, I would just wear the tank, I would do the tank with the jeans, swap out the shoes, and you've got a much more youthful modern look instantly much better, much more wearable. Now best would be a totally different kimono, same print by the way, still, still leopard print. This one is actually by vitamin A, so it's a swim cover up, but you can also wear it out and about. I love, you guys know I love a multifunctional piece. So I paired this over a silk camisole. This one is by Lily Silk. Just did a video recently actually where I featured a bunch of Lily Silk pieces and a special promo code to save. So if you're interested in a really high quality camisole, I'll put the code below. I'll put that video below so you can go check it out. Okay, so I paired that kimono and camisole combo with these modern mousy vintage jeans, which by the way, I've talked about a lot, but in case you missed it, it's a Japanese line, great for petites, definitely size up. I normally wear a 26 in most pairs of jeans and in the mousy vintage, I always order 27. You just need a little wiggle room in these jeans because they're, they're stiffer. It's more of a traditional denim. So let's go back to bad. This is just, it's just not, I mean, you can, you guys can see it, right? It like looks so, I look so much older than better, way better. And then best really we're shaving off years. We're getting out of front town, we're hitchhiking out of front town, and we're going to cool town. So was this video helpful? We're gonna put everything in the description box below by look, by time code. Which frumpy look did you think was the worst? Which one were you like, oh my gosh, that is so bad? Please tell me in the comments, I wanna know. Which transformation do you think was the most dramatic? Which of the bad to best did you think was the most dramatic? Please share that in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts there. And would you like to see another one of these? Is this helpful? Did you like the better in addition to the best? Let me know that in the comments too. You guys, I'm over on Instagram at Busby Style. You just want some everyday casual kind of outfit inspiration. That's a great place. Also, I give out so many freebies when you sign up for my exclusive email list. You get a capsule wardrobe catalog. You get wardrobe basics checklist. You get Zoom tips. There's more, there's more closet editing, closet organizing checklists. It's a whole thing. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter to get all of those freebies. And I don't know if you guys know, but we do have a private Facebook group called The Hive, which is also free. And in that group, you can sign up for free with your email, and then you can post and ask any style related question you want. It's a lovely community in The Hive. The bees, we call them the bees. They're wonderful. Everybody's so positive and supportive, just like here. And if you really wanna kinda dive in there a little bit more with your style, that's a great way to do it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share my channel with a friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.